Welcome back to another episode of Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2020 with the New Hampshire Wildcats. It is Saturday, January 28th, 2021. Um, wow, it is actually almost Saturday, the 28th, 2021. Um, and we currently sit 8-8. Eight eight. We are 3-2 in, in our conference. And we have a matchup coming up against the Sacramento State Hornets. Uh, you can see on the left, on the right-hand side over here that we have won three in a row. We beat Hartford, beat Norfolk State, and won at Samford. Uh, lost a couple in a row prior to that. It's been a very up-and-down season. Uh, we won a couple games that we shouldn't have won, and we definitely lost a couple of games that we should not have lost. We lost our rivalry game to Maine, 72-64. Maine came into that game 1-9. and nine. And then there was another game in here. I want to say it was Florida Atlantic. Florida Atlantic came in like 1-11 and or something like that. And they beat us in overtime. So we currently sit 3-2 and two in the conference, which puts us uh, in a tie with six other teams, five other teams, four second place. Hampton, Montana, and San Jose State are currently at the top of the division at 4-1. and one. Stats-wise, we got a couple players performing really, really well. Llewellyn Barkley, our sophomore leader, leads the team in scoring 16 points, 3.5 rebounds, 4.5 assists a game. Doug McMaster, 13 points, 4 rebounds. Calvin Webb, 8 points, 6 rebounds, and Juan Lavin, 7 points, 5 rebounds. Our freshmen aren't doing a whole lot this year, but, you know, that's to be expected. None of them were rock stars coming in. Um, but uh, you can see pretty balanced scoring um, outside of... Barkley and McMaster. Uh, Llewellyn shooting really well. 49% from the field, 40, almost 43% from behind the arc, uh, over 82% from the line. So that's pretty good. Um, again, we're going to be taking on Sacramento State, who currently are 2 and 3 in the conference, 4 and 12 overall. I don't think I have. I do. Let's look at their scouting report. So it's pretty even. Um, this scouting report came out when our these were our records. We got the scouting report like three weeks ago or something. But um, pretty even across the board, it says, with the exception of the center position where it says that we have the advantage, even though their center um, scores five points more per game. So anyway, that's fine. Uh, their leading scorer, George Bain, 14 points a game. They're on a normal-paced offense with some offensive freedom baskets in the half court. They sport a balanced attack with their primary set being motion. Defensively, they don't press. Half court is their defense, and uh, they go full court man-to-man -man when they do pressure defensively. Recruiting, we still have not locked anybody down. Um, we have some interest from five three-star recruits and one four-star recruit. We still have those... Um, Scholarship offers out. Um, Piluzic is still, we're still third on his list. Uh, just waiting for that opportunity to be able to visit and hopefully lock them down. Um, how many of them are actually interested in us? I think only a couple. Yeah, Piluzic, the two uh, international guys are, we're still, we're in their top 10. Uh, Nimella, we're ninth, uh, but it'd be nice to lock him down. Uh, really good shooter and, and above average, average or above average at pretty much everything else. So that would be a nice big man to pick up, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, so we do have a game against Sacramento State, so let's get to that. Sim the rest of the games. So we'll sim this game, and then we'll go ahead to the... Um, to the the conference tournament and then we'll sim ahead in the conference tournament until the national the, the the or until the tournament title game if we make that one so we may only get one game in this episode we'll see um we may get a couple it all depends on what those uh depends on what i feel like doing actually so let's jump into the first game here Nathan Bailey, Miguel Patterson, Ryan Washburn, George Bain, Peter Butler for Sacramento State, Lillian Barkley, McMaster, Richard Pebbles, Juan Lavin, and Calvin Webb for us. 
So Sacramento State comes in four and twelve, two and three in the conference. We come in eight and eight, three and two in the conference. So important conference game here between the Wildcats and the Hornets. Let's get to the tip. This game is being played in Durham, New Hampshire at Lundholm Gymnasium. So let's get to the tip. Be interesting to see if we actually win the last two games that we've shown here have been blowouts for us as we played two teams, a three-pointer right off the bat by Barkley. Um, played two nationally ranked teams and got smoked in both of them. Another three-pointer, that one by Lavin, gives us a 6 nothing lead. A couple of free throws get Sacramento State on the board, and then a turnover and a layup. Another three-pointer by Lavin. 9-4 UNH. One out of two at the line for Webb. Puts us up six. Another turnover by UNH. Another turnover by UNH. It's three turnovers early on here by the Cats. Jumper made by Barkley. It's 12-10. Two free throws by Sacramento State. Ties this. Jumper in the lane by Barkley. He's got himself off to a nice game here. Another basket by Barkley. He's up to nine points already in the first five minutes of the game. A lot of passing outside the three-point line. Three-pointer by McMaster at the at the uh, the shot clock buzzer puts us up by five, uh, by seven. But then Sacramento State hit a three. Pair of free throws by Calmona puts us up 21 15. Turnover and a missed layup by UNH. Sacramento State trying to get within three or four. They're able to hit a baseline jumper. And there's a three pointer from the corner by Pride, giving us a seven point lead. We have the ball and we're up seven. Missed jumper. Sacramento State hits that shot, bringing them within five. Missed three-pointer, offensive rebound, and then a three-pointer from the top of the key by Burks. Three-pointers are falling in this one for us so far. Shot in the paint is good. UNH is up eight. It looked like three straight fouls there. A couple of opportunities by Burks, and he missed them both. Three-pointer, bang, from Burks. UNH up 11 with the ball. UNH up 13 as Webb hits down the foul, knocks down the foul line jumper. One thing I've noticed about this game, though, is that they tend to not stay, especially when the teams are close, they tend to not, there tend to not be any blowouts. So my guess is Sacramento State's going to go on a run here and get back into this one, uh, if not in this half, then in the next half. Right now we're up 13. Two missed free throws. Missed three-pointer. There's a three-pointer by McMaster. We get the ball right back, and now we're all of a sudden we're up 18 as Burks has got 10 off the bench. Barkley with 11 to lead the way. Missed three-pointer by the Hornets. Two out of three at the line. UNH is up 21 now. It's 46 to 25. Two free throws by the Hornets. Turnover by the Cats. Lead is 19. One out of two at the line for Lavin. UNH up 20. UNH up 23 now as another three pointer by McMaster goes. 50 to 27. 50 to 29 now. Missed three pointer. Missed three pointer at the other end. Turnover by the Cats. One out of two at the line. Under a minute left in the first half of this one. NH looking for a good shot. Two free throws by Webb. He gets one out of two. And UNH scores at the buzzer. Who hit that? 
Oops, I guess I can't tell. Anyway, we're up 20 at the half. So for Sacramento State, they're led by Bain. He's got seven points. Washburn with four. Excuse me, Patterson with eight to lead. Uh, Sacramento State, Bain has seven. Washburn with four. Butler, three. Bailey has two. Off the bench, Walk and Lopez each have four. Wilkins, Starkey, and Mickens played and did not score. And for the Cats in the first half, Llewellyn Barkley scored nine points in the first five minutes, has 11 points, three rebounds, three assists in this one. Lavin was seven points in nine minutes. McMaster had three three three-pointers in that half. Webb, five points, eight rebounds in the first half, and Pebbles had a bucket off the bench. Burks had 11 points, three rebounds, a steal, and an assist in 14 minutes. So best game so far of the year for the freshman Burks. Kimona had four. Pride hit a three, and Jelly, Parker, Irwin, and Davis all played but did not score. Sacramento State was 11 of 27 from the field, 40% UNH, 17 of 28, 60% from the field in the first half. Even better from behind the arc, 9 of 14. Sacramento State was just 1 of 8, and from the line, UNH was 9 of 14. Sacramento State, 9 of 12. UNH with 11 second-chance points to only two for the Hornets. So we're up 20 going into the second half. So let's finish this one up strong and move on. Second half starts, UNH with the ball. A couple of fouls by Sacramento State. Shot is blocked. Webb with the attempted bunny from in the paint. Had that one blocked. Sacramento State looking to get the lead under 20. You miss the three-pointer, but get the offensive rebound. Reset. Another three-point attempt. That one goes. 17-point game. Missed three-pointer by UNH. Sacramento State looking to cut into this lead. Here's another three-pointer, and all of a sudden, it's a 14-point game. There's a jumper. Barkley hits that one. But Sacramento State comes right back. Three-pointer by McMaster. That's his fourth three of the game. Another bucket by Sacramento State. Another missed three by the Cats. One out of two at the line, and it's a 14-point game. Lavin lays that one up and in. Make it a 16-point UNH lead. Foul by the Cats. Turnover by the Hornets. Missed three-pointer, and then Barkley gets the rebound and lays it up and in. Barkley's having himself a game here. That one's laid up and in by McMaster. 63-45 with 12, with just under 13 minutes left in this, in this game. Jumper missed, rebound by the Wildcats. Turnover by UNH. Another turnover by UNH. Nine turnovers in this one for the Cats. Layup there by Butler. Missed shot. Hornets get the rebound. Missed shot. UNH gets the rebound that time. Three-pointer missed by Pride. UNH up 15. Missed three-pointer by Lavin. Sacramento State looking to get this. They're within 13 now. Get the ball right back. Going to cut this to 11 or 10. They're not able to. Three-pointer from the top of the key. No good by McMaster. Two free throws. Gets it to within 11. There's a three-pointer by Burks. Nothing but net. 68-54. Elbow jumper. No good. A couple of turnovers. Jumper there by Angeli hits that one, and Barkley now 15 points, four, re five, four assists, and five rebounds in this game. 72-54 with six and a half left. Looks like UNH is probably going to walk away with this one unless things fall apart here over the next six minutes. 16-point game. 15-point game with six minutes left. UNH with the ball. Turnover, though. Turned right back over. Missed three-pointer by McMaster. Turned over again. Foul and then a bad pass. 72 to 59 with four minutes left. 
Three-pointer by Burks. Hits that one. 16-point game, three minutes remaining. 18-point game as McMaster lays that one up and in. 77-59, UNH. One out of two at the line for Pebbles. UNH up 80-61, to 82-61 to 61 as Calvin Webb lays that one up and in. Three-pointer bang from Pebbles. 85-64, UNH with a minute left. Cats are going to improve to 9-8 and eight on the season and 4-2 and two in the conference. Well, Sacramento State's going to drop to 4-13 and 2-4 and two and four in conference R play. And that will do it for this one. UNH wins this one. Going away. Sorry, squeaky chair. You guys know. 89-67. So let's take a look at the postgame stats. Sacramento State led by Butler, 18 points, 6 assists. Wow, look at that stat sheet. 18 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, 5 steals. Patterson with 12. Washburn with 8. Bain with 7. Bailey with 7. Lopez with 5. Walk with 4. Logan with 3. Mickens, Starkey, Wilkins, Bree, Dabney did not score. Thompson came in for garbage time, hit a 3-pointer. And for the Wildcats... Actually, they were led by Burks, 17 points off the bench. He was a plus 23 in 20 minutes to go along with four rebounds, two assists, and a steal. Llewellyn Barkley with a solid game, 15 points, five rebounds, four assists. Did turn the ball over seven times. He turns the ball over a ton, but that's okay. McMaster was 16 points, seven assists. Webb was one point shy of a double-double, nine points, 10 rebounds. Lavin with nine and five. Pebbles at eight. Off the bench, we talked about Burks and Jelly had two. Kimona had four. Irwin had four. Pride with three. Davis with two. Carter and Parker played, but it did not score. So that moves us to four and two in the conference. Conference R? Why are they not coming up? All right, we'll just submit it and see what... Oh, oh that's why, because I just got... Emails. What's going on here? I got four inbox, four messages. Come on. What's going on? There we go. Oh, so Pyluzic made a decision. Let's see what he decided. He's coming to our school. Albin Pyluzic. Very nice. The 295th overall ranked small forward, number 59 in his at his position really he's above average at everything only thing he doesn't do well is handle the ball but it's a decent shooter decent rebounder decent defender um so he is going to fit in nicely for us albin pyluzic out of poland 6'6 236 pound forward so that is nice so that gives us our first recruit for next season uh we don't have anybody here Let's look at the standings now just to see where we are. Yep, we sit four and two, one game behind Hampton. So I'm going to go ahead and sim ahead now to the end of the regular season. Maybe I'll just play that first um, NC, uh, that first conference tournament game, see where we stand. Because uh, I would like to play two games in this, and I don't want to um, <laughs> want to get knocked out in the first round or take the chance that we won't get knocked out and then... Uh, uh, miss that second game. Although if we miss the second game, we miss the second game. It's not the end of the world. Uh, maybe we can just sim it and look at the, the highlight or look at the stats and stuff and then uh, go through the NCAA tournament and everything. Let's We'll see how it goes. But I will be back uh, at the end of conference play. So hang tight. Okay, it is conference tournament time. And it was an up and down season. We go to the dashboard. Let's see our game against Sacramento State right there, 89-67. Loss, win, loss, win, loss, win, loss, win, win, loss. So um, basically alternated wins and losses for the last month and a half of the season. Uh, we ended up, what, 14-13? and 14-13 and 13 on the season, 9-7 and seven in the conference. So unless we win the conference tournament, we are going to redo conference R next year. So let's go ahead and sim. Actually, let's look at, uh, let's look at our stats first. 
So Llewellyn Barkley finishes the season 15 points, three rebounds, four and a half assists a game. Doug McMaster, 13 and a half, three and two. Lavin, seven and five. Webb, seven and six. And that was about it. Um, like I said, Burks had that played really well in the game against Sacramento State, but overall um, had a bit of a challenging freshman season, but hopefully he will step it up next year. Keith Parker's another young one that we are really high on. I uh, didn't get much playing time, but he will play a bunch next season. Uh, and then we get Roy and Rosen next year. So I'm looking forward to that. Scotty Rosen going to light it up for us. Uh, so that's where we ended up. Uh, we haven't landed any additional recruits. We still are looking at these last five or six players that are three stars that are interested to us. We've got Nimella up to warm interest. Um, we're actually, we've dropped down to 10th. We were ninth. So, um, hopefully we don't lose out on him. Um, but we'll see. So we still just have the one recruit that we picked up. Um, Albin Pyluzic. So, all right, let's go ahead and sim ahead. We're going to be playing St. Francis in the first round of the conference tournament. You can obviously just see up here. We win 15. We're up now 15 and 13. We move on to the conference semifinals. Let's see. We won 76-73. McMaster with 17. Barkley with 14. Webb with 10 and 8. And Pride with 11 off the bench. So, uh, let's see. Inbox. I think it's just a scouting report. Yeah, we're going to be playing Hartford. We are 1-1 one and one against Hartford this season. We beat them at the beginning of the season. Lost to them at the end of the season. Um... Let's keep our fingers crossed. And we lose. So we are going to finish our second full season at the helm of the Wildcats, 15 and 14. I think I got a little out ahead of myself at the beginning of the year when I when I claimed that, that we should be able to finish in the top four in the conference without any trouble. So... Um, yeah, so that didn't go the way we wanted. So let's go ahead and sim ahead to the end. I don't think we're going to make a conference tournament, but, you know, we'll sim ahead and see what happens. We finished with a winning record and a winning record in our conference, so it's a possibility. So we'll go ahead and sim ahead to that and see if we get an invite someplace, and then if we do, we'll play that game. But if we don't, we'll just sim ahead through the end of the season and... We'll call it an episode. Look at that 101 to 99 conference championship. Hartford beats Samford. What a game. Do we have to do anything with recruiting? Nope, not right now. So we'll sim ahead. There's going to be a lot of clicking here over the next couple minutes as we sim through the rest of the tournaments that aren't ours. Because as you know, most of the lower level conferences are going to finish their tournaments before the upper level ones. So same holds true here. So we got to get through the conference A, B, C, D, E, F, G, et cetera, et cetera, before we get on to post season. Hopefully we'll make a tournament. I don't, I don't think it's out of the question. I mean, we're a low ranked team, but we finished with a winning record and a winning record in our conference. So it's a possibility, I guess. Do the selection show. This is going to be loud. Let me turn that down. We're not going to make this tournament. That's pretty obvious. skim through this really quickly again it's not supposed to be mna it's supposed to be the nca it's, i just forgot to change it so let's just go next game really quickly if you do next game it's actually quicker than if you do auto run so delaware green bay davidson texan texas christian in the playing games washington arkansas duke will play the winner of charleston southern southern miss Arkansas State, San Diego State, North Carolina, Wichita State, Illinois, Richmond, 
Vatech, Virginia Commonwealth. So a battle of for Virginia, Auburn, Arizona State, Indiana Hofstra, Wake Forest, Dayton, Northern Colorado, Iowa State, Marquette, Little Rock, Arkansas, Kansas Brown, Mississippi State, St. Louis, Xavier Davidson, Texas Christian winner, San Francisco, New Mexico, Temple, Wisconsin, Boise State, Oregon, Howard, Syracuse, Idaho State, Creighton, Kennesaw State, Gonzaga, Oklahoma, Alabama, Oklahoma State against Washington or Arkansas, Providence, Clemson, Ohio State, Michigan, Connecticut, BYU, Maryland versus Delaware or UW-Green Bay, Hartford, Louisville, Nickel State, NC State, Memphis, Florida State, Harvard, Colorado State, Miami, West Virginia, Iowa, Missouri State, Minnesota, Akron. So that is the NCAA tournament this year. And I don't believe we are going to get an invite. Yep, tournaments are being played. We did not get an invite this season. Uh, so what are we going to do? I guess we'll just, I'll keep simming. And we'll just play till the end of the season and see if we can land a recruit and see if uh, if we can, yeah, we'll see if we can land a recruit. Go ahead and watch film on these guys again. We got plenty of money to spend, so I'm not worried about that. Do I want to? Stepping out and shooting the three. I like Ty Young. He's got some inside shooting and rebound. I think I'm going to maybe go a little bit harder after him here. Let's scout Ty Young live. We're gonna have to sim ahead about what two and a half weeks here two weeks roughly it's a shame we didn't get a tournament bid i, I would have thought maybe one of the lower lower ranked conferences would have uh shown some interest in a 15 and 14 scrappy wildcats team but that didn't appear to be the case so we are into the ncaa tournament now xavier beat mississippi state 73 to 58 Check recruiting. So Eric Robinson is interested in us now. Yeah, but his SAT scores are right on the edge. I'd be more interested in Ty Young. What do we got to do to get him in, 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 in here with us? Oh, wait, I can contact now. Does that mean I can? Yeah, I can. I can visit the recruits. All right, so let's visit. Uh, let's see. Let's visit Nimelli. Give him a playing time pitch. He wasn't crazy about, he didn't care about playing time that much. I don't think Young did either. Let's go with facilities for Young. I don't, this will, if nothing else, this will get him off our list if he's not interested. Same thing with white. This usually either makes them commit or makes them say I'm not interested. So we'll just visit those three players. See what sort of information we get. See if we can land either of them. Uh, yeah, a lot of clicking when you don't make the... I guess I could just sim ahead to specific day. I don't want to sim to 325. I want to sim to, like, there. Why won't it let me? Huh, it's not letting me sim ahead. That's interesting. Not sure why. Uh, it's not what, what am I trying to do here? There we go. All right, well, it's not letting... It might be because it's waiting to give me a message. I don't know. Let's see. 
I mean, it's thinking down here. It's stuck, but yeah, I'm getting an email. I don't have much to say as it's simming. It looks like, wow, Syracuse demolished number three Maryland, beat them by 25. G. Craig. Or is it G? It's probably G. All right, let's see what we got. And he commits. Kevin White. It was cool. Ty Young. Better options. Yerky Mimela can't see himself playing for me. Okay. So we can remove him from the list. Recruits offered. Let's go ahead and revoke the scholarship there. Uh, interested recruits. I think I want to save that third or that last um, that last scholarship for a. Um, for a transfer. Um, but we'll keep looking at these guys and see if they're interested. So let's go ahead and say my head. We can get anybody locked down, but the four-star recruit said it was cool of us to come visit, so that's something. All right, so the tournament is over. So let's advance. <laughs> Once again, really, really loud. So <laughs> we'll take a look at our conference. Let's take a look at the Conference R Awards. St. Francis had the Player of the Year. San Jose State had the Defensive Player of the Year and the Freshman of the Year. First Team All Conference, nobody from our team. Second Conference, Llewellyn Barkley made Second Team All Conference. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and continue. So I don't think we're going to end up landing any of those recruits. We may have to look to sign a couple of transfers, which is fine. I don't mind picking up transfers from other schools. They tend to be better than what we have. So let's look at our inbox. Coaching jobs available. Contract extension. Great. Yeah, so we didn't get the automatic. We didn't get the conference tournament, but we won 15 games, so they're good there. If we look at our office... It's supposed to come up and tell me what the rankings are, but it's not. I don't know why. Um, but it looks like we're getting better at recruiting. We're at almost 60, it looks like. We started at, I think, 46. So that's good. Um, yeah, I think... I don't know that any of these guys are going to end up coming to us, but we'll keep, we'll keep going along and seeing if we can generate some interest. Job hiring. We are not going to take any jobs. Look at all these schools that want us, though. Connecticut wants us as their head coach. I don't want to be Connecticut's head coach. Oh, I guess those were just available coaching jobs. Don't worry. Those weren't necessarily jobs that were going to be offered to us. Inbox. Alvin Pyluzic signed his uh, letter of intent, which is good. I don't think we need to hire any new. No, nope. our our coaching staff is not very good, but I'm gonna wait until their conference until their contracts run out before I attempt to find anybody else. I don't want to be spending money on multiple coaches, so we'll advance through the coach hiring stage. This part, I think, takes a second because it's got to go through like multiple, quote unquote, weeks of hiring people. So I think this is probably the kind of the, the, the route at which I'm going to play this. So this episode will take us till the beginning of the next season, uh, which is sort of the um, off-season recruiting, transfer portal, that sort of thing. 
uh, and then the following, uh, as well as kind of opening night as you were, and then the following one will be, um, I'll pick a game at random during the season to play into the conference tournament through the end of the season. Figure I can do two episodes a season. Um, that'll be a way to kind of speed through some of this so that we aren't, yeah, so this doesn't take years and years and years to try to, to try to get through. So meeting with the board. So let's upgrade, try to upgrade the facilities again. We had plenty of money. If we can get them to upgrade the facilities again, that would be awesome. I don't think they will, but let's see if they will. My guess is no. Request denied. Yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. So we're going to end the season. And we may just take a look at what's available for recruits, see if we've got anybody who's interested. I'm not going to make any offers this episode. Um, I'm going to call this episode complete here in just a sec. Um, but let's we'll see what's available um, when, uh, when that time comes. All right. So I don't think we can even look at... Yeah, we can't. So we're going to just go ahead and end the episode here. So the next episode, actually, let's take a look and see. I don't think we moved up. R. So we would have been bumped up to Q. Nope, Hampton, Hartford, Montana State, and Samford. So they were replaced with Purdue, Fort Wayne, Quinnipiac, Columbia, and Marist. So we're going to stay in Conference R, which isn't great, but we will... Uh, 291st recruiting class because we only had one recruit. Uh, hopefully we can pick up a couple of transfers here. Um, so next episode, we'll go through the transfer portal. We'll sim up until kind of opening night. We'll play that first game, and then that will be the beginning of Season 3. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts, and until we talk again, everybody take care. Bye-bye.